We've got a little micro bat in here. Got a funny little face. Oh, they are just so unusual. You're a little pterodactyl. Yes. <laughs> She's dispersed for some reason, or she could also just be sick. That's definitely what we need to investigate with this. Let's go. Our rescue unit is the best in the world. If we get a call for an animal in distress, we can be there as soon as possible. Yeah, hi, it's Richie from Australia Zoo Rescue. Uh, did you guys call in about a microbat? Yeah, we've got one on our front screen door of our apartment. Today, we've been called out to a microbat rescue. Microbats are really small. Their body is only about this big, and we do often see these bats hanging out in urban areas. I'll just let her know we're here. Oh, yeah, there About he is. Disturbing him too much. Oh, he is so cute. Hey, mate. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? I'm Richie. Chris. Hey, I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Nice how you doing? Mate. There's your little bat. Yeah, we sort of just opened the door to keep him a bit more protected and stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, so. The couple have seen this bat hanging out in the same spot over the course of, of two nights and not leaving. That really raises some red flags. Sometimes they just find a really funny place to roost. Yeah. But we'll get him checked, so we'll grab him. Yeah, you, you got him. That's it. That's it. Him. Ah, there we go. Good boy. We're going to take him back to the wildlife hospital, get him on the table, and really give him a thorough check over. Microbats normally live in groups, so if she's on her own, she's obviously dispersed for some reason, whether she was caught by something or she could also just be sick, and that's the reason why she hasn't been able to follow her friends. That's definitely what we need to investigate with this. They just look so delicate, don't they? They do. They're just so tiny. You're a little pterodactyl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your little feet. You're so cute. They're so weird, aren't they? <laughs> they are just so unusual. Often we see them coming in with punctures to their membranes, but this one's membranes look nice and intact. Got a funny little face. And those ears, ears are amazing. <laughs> For being so small and cute and fluffy, microbats are actually quite a honed, vicious predator. They're like gremlins, you know, there's two sides to them. We have to think of a name. We have to think of a, a Batman-related name. I was thinking Gotham, but it's a girl. Gotham. Oh, that's a cool name. It's a, <laughs> it's a tough name for such a little fluffy animal. <laughs> the next step with her will be to perform some x-rays just to see if she's got any fractures that we can't see with the naked eye. There's no weight to him at all. So I want to have a look to make sure that all of her bones are intact. I'll zoom right in and make sure that all of her little finger bones, which are all of these ones here, yep. um, are all intact. Um, Eloise, on her right second finger, is there any swelling of the joint that you can see? Oh, yeah. Ludo has just spotted a little swollen area on one of the joints in the wing. We just had a closer look, and sure enough, there is a bit of swelling. The bone should look exactly like that one there does, so nice and thin, um, yeah. but you can see there's a lot going on in there. So would that have been affecting her flight? It definitely could have. Oh, yeah. wow. The plan for Gotham is to pop her on some anti-inflammatory medications to yeah. reduce the swelling. It's just recovery time before she's able to, to fly properly. The condition that Gotham is in, I'm, I'm hopeful that he'll make it. I am pretty positive. If that wing uh, heals up in, in time, I'd say that the likelihood of him being released is pretty high. How's our little guy going? Oh, oh. there he is already. There we go. <laughs> Poking his little head out. Hello. It's a lot brighter than last time we saw him, that's for sure. Sure, yeah. He's been flying in like a nice little soft enclosure. Nice. So he should be fine to be released. Sounds good. So Gotham has gotten the all clear, and now comes the big moment. We have to do this release at a really precise time. Right in the place that we found him, when all the bats are coming out and starting to forage for little bugs and are swooping around. Just a little bit of light. Once he starts to fly, he's gone. That's it. It's like taking the leap of faith. 
Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, listen to him. He knows. Oh, look there here. he is. Oh, back end first. It's all right, buddy. Back out. It's all right. There he is. Oh, he is beautiful. You're all right, little guy. I know. There he goes. Wow. That was quick. That's incredible. Yeah, he flew great. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? All that, all that work for just a split second. Yeah. Not even a thank you, he's straight oh, back out. That's good, good work. First bat rescue for me. <laughs> That's awesome. Getting this guy back out into the wild, it's the best feeling. He's flying perfectly and finally a happy ending for little Gotham. Oh.